story of uh, two men. Uh, one is a journalist, very high-flying journalist in the New York Times, who uh, loses his job through malpractice. Um, and at the yeah, moment of his greatest shame and redundancy, kind of washed up, he gets a call out of the blue from somebody who says, uh, Serial killer has been caught. He says, well, what's I got to do with me? And he said, Well, he's been on the run for the last months pretending to be you. And it's about this relationship between these two men, very similar age, uh, similar interests in some ways. Um, one, you know, from high point literary world, the other from a really tough part of the world, and was, um, how they kind of dance around each other. And the thing that I was really interested by was that, you know, we have lots of movies about young men who have a life changing experience, and we have lots of films about people in their 40s about midlife crisis, but what really appealed to me was the idea of two men at their supposed peak of life uh, having a kind of crisis. Um, like to lose your job at 21 is one thing, to lose it at 45 is one thing, to lose it at 30 is like devastating. So I, I, and I wasn't that far older than that. So I, I, didn't, I didn't love this character. I actually hate this guy. Uh, He's still alive uh, on death row. Um, I had a chance to meet him, but I, I just said no. I didn't want to meet him. And uh, but and I I even felt myself. You know, as an actor, you you want to feel connected to your characters. You want to feel. You know, you don't want to judge your characters when you're playing them. But I felt when I was playing this guy, like I just did not want to engage with him. I just didn't want to emotionally connect to this person because I just thought he was so awful. But then I realized it's kind of okay because in actuality he's so out of touch with who he actually is that it was fine that I wasn't in touch with the character. <laughs> I love coming here. Um, um, it's just one of the best festivals. I've been, I think I've been to all the major festivals in the world and um, this one's really exciting just because they're, they they really make a point to find young blood, first time directors. They are very good at um, you know finding who the new voices are, and, and to me that's exciting. I'm a teacher at um, a few graduate film schools, and um, and so to see. You know, my friends and students come here and, and, and show their stuff is really, really great. Thank so you, everybody. That's all the time we have.